When you're shopping on the internet, I'm pretty sure you've come across variation swatches, whether you purchase on Amazon or other stores. Let me show you what a variation swatch is. And of course, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add them to your website. This is a store that I purchased from. I buy these slippers. I love them uh, when it's cold in my house. So here I'm on their shop page and you can see there's these little circles that show me different versions or variations of each of these that they have in stock. And when I click on it, it can change the image. This makes it so much quicker and easier when I'm buying. So I know what's available in a grid format like this. This is a variation swash right here. Now, also when I'm on their product page, they have them as well. I just love it. So I can also see the image and then I can choose the size all visually. Now, typically, if you have WooCommerce, it doesn't show you variations in these swashes. So a swash could be a text label. It could be an image. It can be a color and you can set up the shape of each of those. But WooCommerce out of the box doesn't let you have these swashes. Instead, it's clunky drop downs where you have extra clicks that the buyer has to go through and nothing shows on your shop page. So let's take a free plugin that you're going to be able to add to your site right now and add these swashes to your existing variations and get your shop page and your product page looking much better in delivering a much better experience for your buyers. We're going to be using this free plugin and there's lots of different variation swash plugins for WooCommerce. But the reason I'm choosing this one is because it gives you premium features for free. A lot of the free plugins that are available don't let you add the swashes to your shop page. A lot of the settings might be a little cluttered in them. And sadly, some of the ones I've tested have banner advertisements in it. And this one right here has none of that. It's beautiful. It's modern. It's full featured. There's no pro version or upsell. So you can click here to download this version and upload it straight to your WordPress site. Or if you're logged into your WordPress site, you can click on plugins, click on add new, and then do a search for it. As you can see, I already have this installed and active on my site. Now that it's installed, let me show you what the end result's gonna look like, and then we'll go through setting this up. So here's a shop page, and this is one product that I've added variations to. And you can see I have a color variation as well as a text label variation for the size. It's great to have this on the shop page because your buyer, when they're here looking at all the products, they can immediately and visually see what variations are available for a particular product. And also when the buyer's on a particular product page, those variation swashes as well show here in a very elegant way. So now that it's installed and active on your site, let's configure it. Once it's active, it's gonna add its settings underneath WooCommerce variation swashes. And this is very well laid out. So we have right here to enable it for product pages or the shop page, you get to choose. I would have them enabled for both. Next, let's take a look at the global styling. And this is gonna be more for the size of the individual swashes. There's also a tooltip option, so you'll be able to style that as well. And then there's also shop page styling. The most important setting here is going to be in the alignment. So if you have your shop page content aligned left, you're going to want to make sure that this is aligned left as well or center for center. The next thing is where you want the position of that swash after title, before title, after the price, you have these options right there. Now here's an important option. It says attribution limit or attributes limit. So if you have lots of different colors, say your product has 15 different colors, it's not going to look good on the shop page, right? Because we only have this width here. So what this allows you to do is set the maximum amount of attributes that will show here on the shop page. So if you only want to show say four, it will say it will show four and then it will show the a little text notice that says there's more available. So let's go ahead and change this just so you get an idea of how this is going to look. So I'm going to change this to one. It's not practical to have it set to one. And if you notice that setting was automatically saved for me, I didn't have to scroll down and click on save. So now let's see what it looks like. 
you can see right here, it's showing one of the attributes for each, and then it tells me how many more. So for colors, this particular product has one more. And for the size here, it's showing me that there's two more. Now, when I click on either of these, it will take me into the product page where I get to see all of the available swashes. So now let me show you how to configure existing attributes that you might be using for variations. It's very simple and all the settings are right where your attributes are. So those are going to be underneath products and then right here it says attributes. And you can see I have two existing attributes right here. Now the plugin adds these two options that you can see. So if you were creating a new attribute, you would give it a name and then you would choose the type. Is it going to be a label, a color or an image? And we will need to add the color or image to each individual item. And then right here, you could choose the shape. So if you noticed, I had the color as a circle. I had the label as a rounded corner. So then you would go in here and you would set that up and you would add a new attribute. But if you have existing attributes, you're just going to need to go and set these settings. So for color, you'll go here and you'll click on edit. And for each of your attributes, you would choose the type. Then you would choose the shape. And there's also an override here for the size. So if you want it to be a little larger, you can set the size right here. Next, you have to configure each item. So when you have an attribute that has different colors that we have here, you just need to set, to, to set what that color is for each individual item. It's very easy. I'll go here and click on configure items and I see them all here. And the plugin adds this preview right here of what the color is. Now, when you first activate it, your colors will not be configured. So you're going to see nothing for each of these. Now, if you wanted to create a new color, you would just give it a name. And this is the new option here to set the color. And for all your existing colors, one time you're going to need to go in and edit each one and set what that color is going to be. Now for size, I set that to the label type of swash. So for this, you would go into each of the terms and I will edit it. And where the name is coming from that appears is right here. It just pulls it from the name. So that's why it says medium instead of just M. So if I wanted it to be M for the swash versus medium, I could just put M, click on update. And now I'll refresh the product page and you can see right there, it changed from medium to M. And that's how easy it is to convert your variations to variation swatches to make a better experience for your buyers. If you want to learn everything there is to know about WooCommerce in a single video, this is the video right here. I keep it updated. I update it every year. So just go ahead and click on that and you're going to learn everything there is to know about WooCommerce and you're going to be able to jump to the specific points. So if you want to know how to even add variations to your products, that's going to be the video for you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you next time.